Hey, what's up guys? It's Christina Leandro Lopez, AKA your classy hood chick. Thank you guys for stopping by. First and foremost, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so today I just wanted to kind of make a quick little video and talk about, um, you know, how we manifest our results um, and how you can kind of tell, you know, if your thoughts are on the right path or if they are not on the right path and kind of how we can change that. So first, you know, the best way is just, you know, look at your current results, you know, what, what's going on in your life. You know, if you guys feel, you know, if you're in a good place, you know, your career is moving forward, you got a beautiful family, a beautiful relationship, you know, beautiful home and things are going great, then you are on the right path. So I'm proud of you. Keep that shit up. So if things are going great, you guys keep it up and just believe in yourself and know that, you know, you, it's just going to keep getting better, right? Because things are going great. You're feeling great. You're on the right path and things can only keep going up, especially when you have a positive mindset that way. But if you're on the opposite side and things maybe aren't going so great, you know, either you're living a paycheck to paycheck, you know, you just feel like you're always broke or you don't have, you know, a good relationship maybe with your kids or your family, um, or maybe you just keep attracting the wrong spouses and you're, you know, in and out of relationships. Um, you know, if you're struggling in any way, then you need to take responsibility for your results and understand that you are creating it. So that should also be an exciting thing, right? For me, it's like when I realize that it's like you know what I can take charge and I'm the one responsible for myself and the results that I'm creating like that shit is empowering as fuck like I don't know about you guys but I get excited about it so please just take a step back you know and think you know if things are going great then you guys I'm proud of you you're on the right track but if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you're struggling and you're frustrated understand that you can change it around everything is in your control you've created that and it's because you've been focused on those things. So whatever we focus, right, it's just back to the basics of law of attraction. Whatever you focus on is gonna expand. That's what you're gonna manifest into reality. So if you're focused on what you don't want, because you might say, well, I didn't ask to have bad health or I didn't ask to have, you know, whatever it is going on in your life. You know, I didn't ask to lose my job, but there was somewhere you need to pause and reflect. What were you thinking? What kind of things were you saying? You know, what was your self-talk? What was your belief about the situation? Because if you're focused on the negative, then you're gonna create more of that negativity. So no matter what you're going through, just try to focus on the positive. You know, try to focus on the things that are going good. And of course, also, you know, realizing that that you could be doing great in some areas and then maybe there's other areas that need room for, room for improvement. So that's kind of like how I like to, you know, for me personally, it's kind of with my journey. You know, I know, man, things are going great here. Things are going great, you know, there. I'm feeling good. You know, I'm happy. I'm like loving the fact that, you know, I'm responsible for myself, you know, because I've it, it's empowering. It's like, you know, I'm responsible for myself. I'm responsible for my emotions, how I feel and everything that I am, you know, creating in my reality. So to me, it's exciting. Then there's going to be some areas where, yeah, there might be some frustration struggle and then I have to think okay what was I thinking about you know to bring that into my reality how did I create this negative situation and so for me it's constantly being able to stop you know kind of refocus reflect and make those adjustments where need be so just wanted to kind of bring that to your guys' awareness. Um, you know, as I'm in this like law of attraction journey, you know, I'm, I'm also coming across a lot of other content, a lot of other material that to be honest is a lot more in depth than the basis of law of attraction. Um, I'm listening to an audio book by Dolores Cannon called The Convoluted Universe. Y'all, I haven't even really talked about it because this shit is so deep on a whole nother level. Like y'all think I was crazy. So I haven't really discussed it. And, and honestly, not because I give a shit if you guys think I'm crazy or not, like I don't give a fuck, but mainly because I'm having trouble understanding it myself. It's just so in depth, like this information, um, just to kind of give you a quick little like rundown. So Dolores Cannon, um, she used to put people under hypnosis. She ended up on this long journey of um, finding, speaking to entities through un, through individuals, through you know human beings. Um, and it's, this was really popular. I think she was doing this like in the like 80s, well, through the 70s to the 90s, but in the 90s is when she got more onto this concept of where she was speaking to entities who were basically, you know, like, I don't know, extraterrestrials, other entities, you know, outside energies that were basically kind of, you know, they were answering all her questions about the universe. So, and Dolores is really great about asking all the basic questions, like a five-year-old child, right? Because you're like, well, how does that happen? How does this happen? Well, what are you trying to say? So it's crazy. I'm not going to talk about it right now. I'm going to have to say that for another video. Like I said, I'm still trying to understand it, but it does tie in with the law of attraction because they, even these entities that she's speaking to are saying, 
we all chose to be here. Every one of us, every soul, we're all energy. Everything is energy. Energy can can neither be created nor destroyed. Um, so even when our bodies physically die, our energy is still going to keep living on. But she says you can go through different lives. Um, these entities are explaining that some of us that are living here as human beings were once from other galaxies. So y'all, shit's crazy and deep. I ain't going to get too much into it. But the whole point is that they're saying that we all chose to be here and she even asked a question for example well you know if we manifest everything to our reality we chose to be here why would a child who was born disabled why would they choose to be here and the entity says because when we choose to be here uh we're trying to i guess um it's like a karmic circle we're trying to um I don't know how she says basically like um fix all our karma or go through like this karmic will of lessons and we have to go through lessons and sometimes when you volunteer to come down i guess disabled if you come down and volunteer then you pretty much get to clear your karma and you kind of i guess complete all your lessons a lot quicker because you're making that sacrifice so that was kind of like weird to me because right i've always would think that you know if we manifest things if we create a reality why would somebody choose to be disabled and born disabled or have problems or why would you know people lose their lives young or why would we have you know like murderers and all these crazy things right and again like i said that's why on this journey i'm constantly learning and something like it brings more questions i'm learning shit and i'm like well if that's the case then how does this happen so again it's just a whole journey of you know learning different perspectives we're not always going to know what the right answer is you know like as i'm listening to this book it honestly brings a lot of great points and it really all ties it down to the law of attraction of how we are our own creators and how we all chose to be here. We all are on vibrations. We can create anything through, you know, vibrating on the right frequency to what we want to manifest. Um, but it brings up a lot of other questions because now it's talking about past lives. It's talking about other galaxies. It's talking, y'all, I'm just trying to tell you this shit is so deep, but I love it. It's interesting. And you know, this is the stuff that I, that I like to dive into. I don't got time for no Netflix and chill. I want to learn about the universe, the galaxy, shit that nobody's talking about. And it's crazy too. And again, you know what? I'm not even going to go into it. I got to make another video for this <laughs> before I go into those details. But definitely I will because again, I'm still trying to learn it and process it myself. I'm constantly like, what is going on here? But the whole point, yes, we are, we all chose to be here. We are all vibration. We are all energy. And if you are on the wrong vibration, if you're on the wrong energy, you're going to know it if you're unhappy in your situation. Are you in an, in an unhappy marriage? You know, you just have bad relationships. You can't get along with people and you, you know, they're jealous of me or whatever excuses that you may make for why you don't get along with somebody or someone. That's you creating that. Okay. That is you. Cause that is the shit that I tell myself. Like I ain't got no haters. I, I don't know. Like who the fuck would hate me? Like y'all love me. Y'all fucking love me. Okay. And I love you guys too. So I don't, I never think, oh, I got haters or I got this. Cause I just honestly never thought that. Like I always tell us I'm a lovable person. Everybody loves me. I am lovable. And I feel like that is what I create because like really like who's going to not like me? Like, you know what I'm saying? like you guys, I'm awesome. And like, you know, and I love you guys. So of course, like I, I come across people and I'm always like trying to compliment them, you know, point out something that I do like. But I ain't a liar, so I'm gonna make sure I point out something I do like. So if I compliment you, that means because I really like that. <laughs> okay, so I'll just remind you guys that you guys are the creator of your reality. You are in charge. You you can change it. If things are going great, you guys, I'm so proud of you. If you're on the right path, you're happy, you got a beautiful family, you just keep doing it. Keep doing what you're doing because you're doing the right things. Of course, there's gonna be room for improvement, but that's okay. You're already on the right path. You know what it takes. But again, if you're on the other side, please understand it's your responsibility take ownership for what you have created in your life if you're unhappy in certain situations if you're frustrated you know if you just that's on you and, and the good thing about it is y'all can change that shit real quick okay so i love you guys i hope this helps i'm gonna have to do another video on the convoluted convoluted universe in the future like i said that is some material that's on a whole deeper level that I'm still trying to understand myself. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some of your time with me. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe and you guys enjoy the rest of your week. I love you guys. You guys take care. Bye.